It's a, it's a porcupine on top of a hovery thingy wearing shutter shades. Hey guys, what is up? Alex here with the Hollow Herald and today we've got another app preview for you. It's a game called A Slime in Time, developed and given to us by the, uh, the masterminds at Hedgehog Gaming. Super fun, I had a blast, so let's go check it out. Alright guys, you ready? A Slime in Time. So, one thing, well, I'm gonna wanna do, so, there's various difficulties and while testing it out, this one is super easy. So to make it interesting, we're gonna try the hardest one right now. And we're gonna take the tutorial off. We'll go through everything in the beginning. We're gonna wanna choose single player, multiplayer not quite yet available, and heck, we couldn't even use it. Had we had the full game, because we don't have a HoloLens, another HoloLens yet. All right, so just scan everything. Just kind of paint our paint our battlefield. And I noticed that um, I like playing where it's flatter. It's a lot easier to interact with things. But it's up to you if you like mountains. And if you like obstacles. Alright, let's call that good. Alright. Here we go. Where are the villages? Alright, so to start off, you get little pyramids or houses or igloos. And those are the villages. So, I'm gonna select this one. And now that one's mine. And that pink one, that's the enemy. So blue is us, pink is the enemy, and the brown ones are neutral. So we'll just uh, go over there, we'll select our house, and we'll select some guys, and now they are on their way over to colonize, so to speak. And you can also click on these, see they're attacking me already. You can have them smushed, which is kind of cool. You can send an army over to attack, there go my troops. And this number kind of increases over time. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. So it is all out war. I'm gonna send some more guys to colonize. So like I said, the number on there, above your village, um, increases over time. And the more villages you have, the more troops you get, which is pretty dang cool. Oh boy. We uh, we won. Actually, we annihilated their forces with three villages. Well, this is kind of a Let's uh let's try that again. Maybe this time we can take a little bit longer. How does that sound? All right. So, the more you map, obviously the bigger your battlefield is. So, it all depends on just how big of a scale of a game you want to play. Alright, we'll call that good. That has us running around quite a bit. Alright. So, we get to select our house. That'll be ours. I'm not really sure what this is. It's a, it's a porcupine on top of a hovery thingy. Wearing shutter shades. And it kind of does its own thing. It does whatever it wants to. Alright, there's our thing. Wow, he's already at 47. Let's colonize up here. We'll colonize up there. I want to see what that looks like. One very satisfying thing. Oh, they're already sending guys out too. One thing that I've noticed that is highly satisfying. You can select the volcano and then send it down towards the enemy and it burns them which is a teensy bit sadistic, yes, but 
Come on, die, 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 die. It's actually really, really useful. Hey, look, it's back again. Let's take this. Let's wait for him to send another group of guys out. Do it. I dare you. All right, I'm not patient. Let's just send them out to burn again. Boom! Did you see that? Direct hit. Let's do that again. Oh! Oh, they're all gone. See? So that's pretty cool. You can use the volcano. Okay, they're already colonizing, and I'm over here just kind of messing around here. Oh! Ooh, I got a lot of guys. Onward, minions. Onward. Die. So the main idea is to... Oh, see? We earned... We won that. I'm trying to keep him from colonizing right now. See? Look at that. We won again. This is a really entertaining game. I just, uh, wish it would last a little bit longer. Obviously, I can imagine this would be a lot more difficult in multiplayer. Multiplayer would be fun on this app. Alright guys, there you have it, a slime in time. I love this game. This has by far been one of the more entertaining games I've seen. It is super exciting. We're starting to see games get a lot more immersive and a lot more enjoyable and games that you can play for a lot longer. And I'm super excited for the multiplayer feature. Um, that is slated to come here very, very soon. Only problem is now we have to scrounge up three thousand more dollars so we can get another Hollands and play it. But like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, let us know if you find this game interesting, if you like these kinds of games. Let us know, give us your feedback, and once again, thank you so much. You guys take care.